It isn't necessary to memorize too much on this aircraft. It's much more important to recognize and to understand what you see. And it's as important to continuously follow the basic principles that you know so well. Airmanship and crew resource management. Because these new tools, these computers, do not control you. You use and control them. For instance, some of these computers automatically control the basic aircraft systems so that, in normal operation, we pilots have very little interaction with them. But, at any time, if we wish, we can manually control them. But now, let's have a look at another very interesting set of computers. The Flight Management and Guidance System, the FMGS. This tool allows you to follow your flight plan exactly, both laterally and vertically. Let's look at some more components of the FMGS, most of which you are very familiar. We have the autothrust, the autopilots, and the flight directors. Remember this component of the FMGS? We inserted our flight plan here. Here is where we follow it. We can follow the flight plan very conventionally using speed, heading, altitude and vertical speed or by pushing a button it can all be done automatically in this way we can follow our flight plan more precisely more easily and far more efficiently by the way did you notice the intuitive nature of the navigation presentation it is just one option simply by turning a knob all the standard ADF, VOR and ILS indications that you know so well are here for backup and for you to cross-check. I would like to talk to you about one more set of computers. The computers for the fly-by-wire. They are called the flight control computers. They replace what you had in your previous aircraft. Cables, bell cranks, pulleys, artificial fields, their springs, jacks and analog computers. The controls, however, are very familiar. In pitch, we have stabilizers and elevators. In roll, we have ailerons and spoilers. In yaw, we have the rudder. And of course, we have flaps and slats, as well as ground spoilers. With all this fly-by-wire, the aircraft flies like any other jet transport, except with more stability. But what happens in case of failure of a system? The fault and the checklist appears on the ECAM. At the same time, an alternate system takes over, while we follow the checklist. In this case, we reset the system.
To sum it all up, what you will do at Airbus training are all the things that you've always done. But now you'll have better tools. Tools that you have always wanted to do them with, with greater efficiency and better safety. In our experience, we have found that you don't need to be a different person in order to learn this aircraft. On the contrary, normal pilot skills and discipline are the foundation of this training course. However, like in any new aircraft type, you will learn some new skills, as well as consolidate some old ones. The Airbus family simply empowers good pilots to be better pilots. Our job at Airbus training is simply to keep you on course. I'll be seeing you soon. Airbus A320, we are now ready for takeoff. Airbus A320, you're clear for takeoff, runway 33 left.